Oahu, my friend, the place of your birth. Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing out there in YouTube world today? Mm, having a good one, I hope. Got here my little biscuit, biscuit moon. We are going to do some stuff today, my guys. Oh, before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that there's something about this video. I am pulling the wool over your eyes about this, this particular vlog. There's something about today. Something about today in this vlog. I'm pulling the wool over your eyes. If you can figure out what it is, if you can guess what it is that I'm not disclosing in today's video, leave a comment down below as to what you think it is that I'm not disclosing. And I will pin your comment at the top and I will send you $20 on PayPal right now. Just for fun. Just for fun. Just to see if anybody can even guess at what it is that I'm not telling you about today's video. It's all you. Go ahead. Watch the video, find out. We're gonna skip right ahead to who's hungry with my baby moo? Daddy feed the froggy? Yeah. For whatever reason these days, she really wants daddy to feed the froggy. I don't really, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. But part of my mess over here, I was filming more videos for the library. Actually, here's a little clip of the library video that we're doing right here. Curly and many other tarantulas do a really interesting thing. Yeah, it's fun. I, it's well, actually, you know what? I, I totally lied. It's not fun. I don't like it. I don't like making these videos for the library. I want to be there in person with the kids. But I'm doing what I can with what I've got. So, before we feed the frogs, speaking of working with the kids, shout out, feature of friend time, Crosstown Exotics. These guys do reptile educational shows out there in the Chicago area. They do a great job. These guys saved my butt at the last Tinley show with providing me with all kinds of animals to film because I was at the end of my... Oh yeah, daddy gonna feed that froggy tea. Don't you worry about it. But yeah, um, I'll put a link down in the description for their information so you guys can go check them out. Super cool guys, lots of cool animals, especially if you're in the Chicago area and once they start getting live shows going again, even if before they do, if you guys could go check out what they've got going on, it's, it's really, really awesome. That's why, that's why I'm wearing this shirt. Grab some of our dubia. Uh, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab one. Going to give our frog a nice balanced diet so we're not just eating mice over here. Come on, froggy. You want to eat it? You want that roachy? What do you think, T? Is he gonna eat it? Here you go. I'm gonna lose it. It's slipping. It's slipping out of my gripping. Oh, oh I dropped it. He, he really likes it. What? He really likes it. <laughs> he really does like it. Cockroach number next. Ooh, coming in with a cockroach. What you gonna do? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Who's hungry? Frog's hungry. <laughs> what do you know? I know. Well, you know Froggy? Yeah. What about Froggy? Because he's bigger. Because he's bigger? Yeah. That's how you know him? What else do you know about the Froggy? He's squishy. He's squishy? Yeah. Yeah? Anything else? Nope. You say, that's what I know? That's what I know. <laughs> There's one more yes. Da! <laughs> It's time to venture into the complaining corner. I don't, I don't have anything to complain about today. Ooh, but you know what? We started a complaint. What? You want to feed the rat? I don't have any rats thought out right now, but we'll feed some rats soon, okay? So even though I can't find anything to complain about today, which is really not a problem, I don't think, uh, the solution to being part of the complaining corner and maybe joining more of us in our complaining corner is. I started a Discord for our Patreon, which I think I meant to do a long time ago, but just never did for whatever silly reason. I never started one. What? We put it back. Oh yeah, we'll put it back. The solution to not having anything to complain about 
is you guys come over to our Patreon Discord, and we, so it's, been, it's really cool. We just start set it up, and everybody gets to get in there and chat. We can do video chats. I'm on there. I've been on there. Well, I'm monitoring it all the time. You want to just, like, chat and hang out in chat rooms. One of our chat rooms is called the Complaining Corner. You can go in there, complain about something, and maybe I'll complain about it here for you. How, how about that? You like that? You like that idea? Super cheap. Doesn't cost much. Now, I told Eli that we can go out and try and find rattlesnakes today, so that's what we're gonna do right now. We're here. We're hoping that we will find that rattlesnake, but you never know. Hopefully, 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 but we'll just have to see. What do you think, Scrimmy? What do you think's our chance of finding a rattlesnake, my guy? I don't know. I've never been to this place. You've been here before. No, I haven't. You've definitely been here before, bud. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Remember the time we were camping and we came down here for sunset? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? It's a quail. Cool. Why would you take it to the There goes our state bird. We're hoping to catch a rattlesnake. Hope we don't find one just by mistake. Because if it bites up, up on the foot. That would not not be too good. Oh, you saw it. I'm going up this way. Okay. so that I don't get bitten. Our main purpose for being out here is to find a rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes live here. Yeah, I've, I've seen rattlesnakes here before. That's what we're here looking for, silly guy. Oh dear. But we should go hang out in the ocean. Yeah, you know, I, I think you're probably right. Well, in the event that we're not able to find these snakes, at least we've got this amazingness to keep us company, right? Not too shabby. What do you think's down there? I have no idea. Maybe a fish or octopus or a baby shark or nothing. Well, we didn't get 100% skunked. A little scoloporous. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, Whoa dude. <laughs> that is I'm gonna take this tick off your eyelid, bro. He's got a freaking, freaking ticking. Yeah. He's got a tick right on his eyelid. I'm gonna pull a thing off there for you. What thing? There we go. Is that little, he had a little mite right on the end of his freaking eyelid. That must have sucked. Got it all fixed for him though. Gotta love Scalopris, man. Gotta love those beautiful blue bellies they got going on. It's a awesome, awesome creature. Even though they're super common, it's still at least we found something. <laughs> Woo! I think we're giving up. Are we giving up, Eli? Are we heading back to the vehicle? I d Daddy didn't bring any... I wasn't intelligent enough to bring any uh, water, so we're, we're kind of shucks out of luck on some water. 
Wait, you didn't bring any water? Hey, Eli. What? What do you know? Wow, snakes. What about rattlesnakes? That they have scales and they strike really fast and they have a rattling tail and they don't have arms or legs and they have a hissing tongue and when they rattle their tail it means that they're warning you and they're gonna bite you. That's all I know. Ho, 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 hi diddly ho neighbors. I you might have thought, eggs. well not thought, we got skunked out there at the rattlesnakes, but then come back home, look what we find here, but a beautiful clutch. Am I complaining? No, I'm not. Well, mama, you're not the best mama in the world. You're kicking out this egg. I'm curious if this egg right here is going to be, it looks good to me. I mean, I'll candle it and I bet it is good. It looks perfectly fine. It's fully calcified. Uh, for some reason she kicked it out. I'm gonna keep this one at the front of the egg box just see later down the road if something happens with this one. My guess is it's gonna be fine, but hey, it'll be a fun little experimento. See what happy lap of happy tap happens. Maybe she maybe she accidentally kicked it out. Accident it could be an accident, yeah. She's this is she's second time mom, so this is this is Maya. If you can't tell what morph she is, well, I'm sorry. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> but she's a she's a coral glow and uh she was actually our first female ball python that we ever got here. She will be way back when I first moved back from the island. And uh, she looks like she gave us a nice clutch of eggs here. Wait, which island? The island of Oahu, my friend. The place of your birth. Oh, what a, what a silly, what a silly snake. She kicked out the good one so she could hold onto a slug. What a dong dong. <laughs> Who does that? I have no idea. You want a slug? Yeah. So we got one slug and one, two, three, four, five, six good eggs. Not complaining. Ooh. Now she looked a little bit thick there still, which is good. Like to see snakes still looking thick after they lay some eggs. That's always nice. Um, but she, I mean, she definitely looked like she had laid them all. All right, we'll get her. Slug stink. So Noah, what do you know? I know. What about rockets? That they have a couple engines. They usually pretty much always blast off into space. One just happened not too many days ago. And I made a model of one. Well, kind of a paper towel rocket. Got the fire, the top, and the middle engine. The rocket is just an engine that lifts the space shuttle up into the air and then once they're past the atmosphere they drop it hopefully landing it in the ocean and the one not too many days ago was the first in 10 years. Rocket all I know. <laughs> <laughs> Trying a different mic situation today. Rocket out of here. Okay, see you later, Rocket Boy. See you later. Oh, incredibly easy to see the embryo on top there. Boom, big old circle with a dark center in it. And again, boom, right there on top. Big, dark, circly, easy to see. This one was actually oriented on the bottom, so it's a good thing we do this, because that thing was on the bottom, it wouldn't have been good. Another big, fat, easy to see embryo. Look at that big, huge circle. These are the easiest to spot embryos I think I've ever seen in a clutch. And again there, right on top, giant circle, embryo inside, boom. And again, boom. Easiest clutch I think I've ever, 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 ever. All right, well, I'd say that we ended up having a pretty successful day, wouldn't you? Uh, Snake-wise, speaking, for sure. Stoked. I'm gonna get these eggs put away. You guys are gonna have yourselves a great day, or else. And uh, see you next time, y'all. Aloha, thank you for tuning in.